What's up, Geeksters? It's me, Omar, from GeeksterLabs.com. Before we get into this review, I just want to give a quick shout-out to SellCashier.com for sponsoring this review. If you guys want to get cash for your used iPhone, check out the link in the description and go to SellCashier.com. So the product I'm going to be reviewing for you today is something that was sent to me free for review from MPOW. And today we have the MPOW Swift Bluetooth 4.0 headphones. And so this pair of headphones is meant uh, primarily for active use. They are sweat proof, and so they do, they're meant kind of specifically for using them with sports and being active, and if they do get sweaty, they it won't get any kind of damage or anything. This is the box that they come in, very small, very lightweight box, and let me go ahead and show you guys what is included with this pair of headphones. So first off, we have the instruction manual. Next, we have some extra ear tips, so the, they come with the, the size large on there, but the medium and smaller are also included in here. And we also have some extra ear loops as well. So there's two different types of ear loops. This is the first kind that come with it. This is the second kind of ear loops that come with it. So these are like ear hooks. And if you're familiar with Jaybird's uh, Blue Buds Bluetooth earphones, this is actually almost identical to the ear hooks that come with that pair of headphones. So that's the other additional pair. So there's, there's two around here, and I actually have a, a, a three of them come total. I have a pair on the earbuds right now, and so this is the extra, the large and the uh, the small ones that are on here right now. Also included is the USB cable, so since this is a Bluetooth pair of headphones, they need to be charged up. So this is a micro USB to regular USB, and I'll show you where you plug that into the headphones so you can charge them up to get a full uh, full charge on them. All right, guys, so here we have the earphones themselves. As you can see, I have the black and neon green version. There's actually a bunch of different color variations you can pick from. And like I said, the, this is available on Amazon for $30, so very affordable pair of earbuds, blue, Bluetooth earbuds. And uh, I'll put a link in the description if you're interested in purchasing them. So these are, like I said, active earphones. They're sweat-proof. They have a built-in microphone as well, so if you do want to answer phone calls, you can do that. If you turn this one over here, as you can see, there is a small little hole right there on the bottom. Right there, and that's, that, that is actually the microphone. As you can see on the side here, we have the plus and minus for uh, lowering, raising, and lower the volume when it is plugged into your ear. And the uh, this other port right here, with the one with the logo on it, that is the on switch. So you hold that down for a few seconds. It should light up. There it goes. It's blinking blue. So it lets you know that it's plugged in. When it's not synced up with anything, it'll blink blue and red to sync up to your device. So that And you just to turn it off. You hold it on a couple more seconds. And turns red, and there you go. And that's also the same button you're going to press to answer phone calls, because like I said, it does have a microphone, so you can answer phone calls. I mean, the the mic is on your ear, so it's a little bit far from your mouth, so it's not something that I would probably would think I would want to be using for long periods of time to talk on the phone. But if you're in the middle of a workout, you don't want to pick up your phone to answer the phone call, you can easily just press the button, answer the phone call really quickly, let them know you're working on it or doing something active, and then hang up, and you should be good to go. So the other thing I have noticed too is the uh, for the USB port here. So that's the port for the USB. That port is really tough to pop out. Like I, I just got it out a second ago, so maybe it's a little bit softer now, but no, it's still pretty tough. So it takes you gotta get your fingernail in there and pry that sucker out really good. There it goes. So as you can see, that is the port for the USB. So the cool thing about this pair of earbuds, even though they're not that large, they actually will give you five hours of playtime. So you can play music on them for five hours, or if you want to talk on them, you can talk on them for five hours as well. And it has a 185-hour uh, standby time. So if you're not using them at all. You don't have to charge them up if they're just sitting around for over 100, 185 hours. So that's really nice. So the actual overall size of them is kind of large compared to some of the other earbuds out there. And I did notice that without the ear hooks, there was no way they're going to stay inside my ear. They do kind of stick out quite a bit. So if you're doing things like CrossFit or just jumping around, running on a treadmill, things like that, where you're going to be moving around a lot, playing basketball or something like that, really, really active and move, a lot of movement, you're going to want to use the ear hooks. I found that the ear hooks are a little bit better to keep them in your ears. There were still times when I felt like they were going to fall out of my ear while I was using them, especially when you start getting real sweaty. But, I mean, obviously everyone's ears are a little bit different shape, so that, that it may be a little bit of a different experience for everybody. The, the reason I noticed them kind of coming loose on my ear is because of the, the long piece here that wraps behind your head. So this actually rests on your neck. So if you're turning your head a lot or depending on what kind of exercises you're doing, that may make it a little bit easier for them to be pulled out of your ear. So one thing to consider I, I don't think it's a definitely it's it's a huge factor. It's gonna be a huge factor for everybody. But I was able to use these while working out. They didn't always fall out of my ears. But I did notice when I got really sweaty and when I was doing a lot of movements, like doing some kind of crossfit workout or something, when you're really bouncing around a lot, they will uh, tend to fall out of your ears just a little bit. So one thing to consider, which makes it really important to make sure you get the right size ear tip and the right ear hook that fits in your ear perfectly. Because that's what's going to prevent it from popping out. But the fact that you know they're so reasonably priced, audio quality, they're a 
$30 pair of earbuds. So I don't think you're expecting killer, awesome audio quality. And, um, you know, the audio quality is average. The audio quality is good. It's definitely not bad. I didn't have a bad experience while listening to my music while using these earbuds. But like I said, they're not going to be incredibly awesome, really great, great audio quality. And that's not really what they're meant for. They're meant for just being allow you to be able to listen to your music, answer a phone, a phone call if you need to answer it, and uh, get back to what you're doing, being active. So for $30... Very reasonably priced, very affordable. Go ahead and check it out. I'll put a link in the description. So if you're looking for a really cheap pair of earbuds, they're Bluetooth, wireless, so you can enjoy while you're doing something active, definitely check out the Empow Swift uh, Bluetooth earbuds because I think you guys will uh, probably enjoy the experience like I have. So that's it for me today. If you have any questions about this product, post them down below. I read each and every comment on all of my videos, and I will always do my best to get back to you as quick as possible. Once again, I want to uh, give a shout out to our sponsors of this video, Cell Cashier. If you guys want to get cash for your used iPhone, go check out CellCashier.com. It's really easy. It's fast. It's secure. Just go on their site, get a quote, ship your phone, and then you, you get paid. And that's pretty much it. So, guys, I'll see you guys in the next video review.